I still found myself in this place where I just felt lost at the time, kind of just, I just left my management, didn't know where I was going with my life, didn't know what the next thing was coming from, where the next hit was coming from. I felt so un uninspired and so I took myself to Sweden and to book myself working with random producers. And one of those random producers was Naked, who is obviously not a random producer anymore, as we know. And we booked the session and we ended up writing Sexual over the course of two days. And it wasn't originally called Sexual. It was like, I want you to get it up. I want you, I want you to get it up. <laughs> and Victor said, mm, no, it sounds like he needs Viagra. <laughs> What about um, sexual? And I was like, hmm, doesn't sound grammatically correct, but okay, yeah, it's so, sort of got a ring to it. And <laughs> this isn't like one of those stories where I say I always thought I had a hit on me. Like, no, I thought I'd written one of the worst songs <laughs> to the point I called my friend, put the phone on loudspeaker, and I said, listen to this song, it's terrible. She was like, well, I think it's a hit. But this is where the story gets juicy, right? So, he calls me now, time has passed, Victor calls me and says he wants to release this song that we've done. And I say, okay, well, my name is still Miss D, so I need to change my name. I feel like I've grown out of that stage name. You go put the song out, and then I'll let you know in the meantime what I've decided. Time has passed, I've gone about my business. Then I start getting like emails and messages from like labels, publishers saying, congratulations, like, oh my God, you've done so well. And I'm thinking, congratulations, for what? I haven't had a hit in like, how many years? Like, this is really strange. So I call my manager at the time and I say, um, I'm getting all these congratulation messages. Uh, like, I don't know that they want to take me out for dinner and like do the whole thing. He says, oh, let me do some research. Um, he does some research calls me back and he goes, uh, do you have a song of somebody called Naked? I was like, Naked? He's like, sexual? Is that, mm, rings a bell, kind of. He was like, yeah, you might want to go check the streams on Spotify. I go and I check the streams and this song is literally on nine million streams. Like, could not imagine it. Like, I'm, I'm so, so, so grateful. Like, haven't worked a day in my life at Netport since. So, <laughs> I'm gonna sing Sexual For You. And if you know the words, please sing along. Hope you do, because I think you guys contributed to the streams. <laughs> Thank you guys.